I usually don't do videos like this. I usually have a microphone set up. I did a thing. I bought it. I got a good deal, so why not? I don't know what to expect. I've never got to try one of these. I've tried a few times in Toronto and Montreal. I've never got to try one of these in person. This is a bit of a risk, and I know I can flip it if I have to. I think this is gonna be really cool, so the waiting is definitely the hardest part. What's going on, everybody? Today is a big day. There's a guitar that I've been talking about for frigging years. I've never got to try one, ever. And this is the first time I've ever had one of these in my hands. It's a Strandberg. It's a headless guitar. It's supposed to be ergonomic. I've never got to try one. I'm going to take you along for the unboxing of this thing. I am pretty excited. I'm going to have to do a bit more of the playing later. Pure later, you guys take forever. You send things the wrong direction. Montreal to Nova Scotia should be like almost like, you know, a somewhat straight shot south. Not quite, but Google Maps, people, look at that. And you went to, it went to Ontario with holidays and all that stuff. But good thing is it looks like it's boxed really well. Picked us up brand new in reverb. I don't see any speed holes. I don't see anything like that. Let's get to unboxing this thing because I don't have a lot of time. I gotta, you know, pay for the thing, right? So we got this thing here, like that. This is the Venture gig bag. Already, I've never had my hands on something like this, so. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't go out and buy just regular guitars that I already have at this point. I either need to buy something, it's either gonna be stupid cheap, or it needs to be a completely different experience. And this is gonna be a completely different experience for me. So let's see how we get into this thing. It's so light, like, oh my God, is that ever light? Like this is, ah, this is absolutely fantastic. This is the moment I'm waiting for. Okay, so we don't have a lot of space to work with. So it's actually strapped in there. Take a look at this. It actually comes in like this. I gotta figure, how to undo this thing. I think, did we do this? Okay, it's just a little hook, that's cool. That guitar is not going anywhere. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so cool. That's just, we'll worry about the other crap in the box after the fact. This thing is as light as a feather, oh my God. So this came from a Heat Bear Music, uh, or Music, my French is terrible, in uh, Quebec. And honestly, my um, dealing with them was super good. They sent us to a Luthier first, a Luthier. Oh, oh man. Look, just, just, just look at that. This got the Indurneck. This thing is so tiny. That is ridiculous. Cool, got the plastic on it. Wow, okay. We're gonna have to take this part off. Got Still got the plastic on the thing, let's just see. She sure? No, it's feeling good. Let's see if it's in tune. So this has the Endurneck and it's, oh, it's just wild. I'll do some B-roll shots later on, but that's a C, I don't see, that is, so, oh man, yeah. So one thing I was like, I wonder if that neck's gonna be tight in there with the body and stuff. And I don't see, I don't see a lick of space in there. That is super tight. It's got the Sir Thornbacher and something else in it. Warranty registration. Oh man, yeah, I'll have to take the plastic off this. Wow, okay. I don't know what time we got here. I don't know how much time we have. Let's just see, how does this play? Like... I've played Headless before, they're Kiesels. This, it's so light. That's wild. I, I'm just looking to see if there's like anything on it. Some people get whiny about things when they get these and they're dense or anything. 
And uh, I don't see, I don't see anything. I don't see anything to pick at here. Absolutely nothing. It has a zero front. It has this little nut on it. That neck, oh man, that neck feels so strange. And so actually, so the guitar can sit here like this. I believe, yeah, it should sit there perfectly fine like that or like this. Okay, that's actually set up super nice. Like, all right. Next thing we got to see though, <sighs> what else is in that bag? That neck is gonna take a, like about I heard about ten minutes to get used to. But there's some other stuff in here because I hear it shaking around. So, what do we got? So there's another pocket in this thing. Here we go. Oh, so they give you another spring and some tools. So let's see what let's see what see what, see what we got. So what we have here also has the NX multi tool. That's so that's cool. We'll worry about that later on. Where do we get this? Uh, a brochure and it explains a bunch of stuff. Again, I'll be giving that a read. Stop. What do we have here? Please read the manual before installing the tremolo arm. So it has a spring. It has um, the arm. It has a little Allen key. Must be for this bridge. And another one for actually changing the strings and stuff. That's that's super cool. It says, thank you, we at Strandberg. Thank you for purchasing one of our guitars. And we hope it will inspire you as much as, as it has us. If you like what you see, please share with a Go Headless Strandberg Guitars. Uh, see how it goes. And you get this picture of Ola Strandberg. Yeah, I have nothing. I don't have anything I can really pick at this. This is... Like I said, it's not a review video. It just, it's just our initial ones. Oh man, that is wild though. I got this, it's the NX Classic. So it's kind of Strat-like. So I want to try something with some sort of like clean-ish tone. Um, let's hear how it goes. <laughs> Strat or if, uh, F spacing or not, but it feels pretty good. <laughs> okay, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to guitars and all this stuff and high gain and all that stuff is that pickups don't matter quite as much. So I'm thinking this guitar is still going to rip on the higher gain stuff. I'm using a, uh, a Guidoris EFX Straight. It's a Mesa Boogie. I don't know how it's going to sound, but let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. just getting used to this neck but it's really not that hard it plays really good the fan is not super aggressive here but it's much more angled here so yeah it's pretty good it goes 25 to 25 and a half and I, i'm digging that actually it's pretty good um yeah overall first impression of this guitar i'm gonna have to sit there and play with it 
I think it's pretty it's pretty rad. I'm I'm digging the neck on it. That's for sure. Um, the bridge days in tune. Uh, I'm gonna come back in like maybe a few weeks to a month. And I'm going to do an actual review because this is cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing, just a little bit of the experience. Um, the Thornbucker seems like it's pretty fun, so I'm going to play it through the actual cabinet here on my own for a little bit. Um, so there you go. A little bit quick, bit of playing there. Everything feels pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. So you all have an awesome day. Thank you for checking this out. This is my first time with a Strandberg and whatnot and uh, i'm gonna come back and you know actually get some good recording and stuff done with it i'm looking forward to it so you all have an awesome day make sure you check one of these out if you got a chance they're they're pretty fun so anyway i will see you guys all in the next video so see yous